Hey everyone, welcome back. So for this particular video, I will directly jump to the point without wasting any time. So I have a couple of requests. So first of all, I want all of you to watch this video for a couple of minutes. Even though you are not interested buying my full stack course that I will be launching soon on my website. That absolutely fine. Second, I am requesting everyone to like this video and also share with your friends as much as possible and also if possible hype this particular video because this course is going to be a life-changing course for all of you and when i am talking in this point of view means you will understand that i am very much serious so from this particular video what i will be doing right until i will launch the course so there will be multiple videos uh, i will be uploading that what are the things that we are going to cover and what kind of projects and some videos also i will be uploading well i will showcase that what projects that we are going to cover so all this so also uh, in this video i'm going to clear a couple of doubts like many students actually pinging me that when i'm going to launch the course what will be the price and everything so i want all of you to have at least some patience and just watch this video for five to eight minutes and you will see that what kind of things that i'm going to deliver in this course and how this course is going to help you in a lot of ways also if you are completely new to my channel so just to give you some overview that i will be launching a new course the date is not finalized and uh, what you can do just go to the uh, description so there will be a waitlist link you can join for free so you can see that already almost more than 1000 people currently uh, join the waitlist all right so before i will discuss the curriculum of nist js and the project let's uh, clear some of the doubts and i will give you some of the information about this course so i'll just uh, created a small presentation so i'll just open this so first of all you can see that uh, this will be a full stack course now uh, mostly you will notice that uh, there are a lot of cohorts online courses live classes a lot of courses are available right and you know i don't have to explain so there you will see individual courses for web dev devops and a lot of other courses are there but in this course i will be covering each and everything in one place so this will be a full stack web dev plus devops master class going to the next part so here i will give you some of the overview the so first of all this is again not completed so i'll give you some rough estimate so there will be around 250 to 300 hours of course uh, content total 40 plus topics i will be covering in this course okay now you'll understand that if you are buying these courses from udemy you have to buy more than 30 plus courses to get all the content this is completely from beginner to advanced level or i will say pro level you'll understand that when i'm going to uh, discuss the projects fourth point you can see real products and level projects now when i'm talking about real products and level projects this is projects i will be creating based on my real experience that i worked in the previous companies right and i've worked in multiple projects and all the knowledge i'm going to cover in this particular course fifth one is very very important and i know like many of you actually understand that okay this guy is another youtuber who is launching another course but just give me some time and you will understand that how much affordable price i'm giving for this particular course especially for students so that is the reason i mentioned it's super affordable and fifth uh, sixth one is this course is going to make you expert in multiple domains okay now moving to the next part which is very very important couple of points i mentioned that why course will take time to upload very very simple now i'll give you one uh, estimate you see you go to the website and see the number of topics i'm going to cover in this course right starting from front end back end and devops in front end also every course you will see on webs uh, on uh, like youtube like cohort courses paid courses you will see that mostly covering react or nextjs in this course, I'm also going to cover Vue.js and Nuxt.js uh, along with React and Next. And lot of other things are there, right? You will understand that how much uh, content will be there and these will definitely going to take some time. Now, second point, why patience is needed for this course to be uploaded? Now, I'm requesting all of you that many of you actually pinging me multiple times that how much time it will take. Now, I'll give you one example. This is not a YouTube course or video that I'm creating. And even if you watch my YouTube videos, right, you will see that 
while creating a youtube video also i take so i take those videos so seriously that you will see my notes is uh, videos right one single video will take like one month or at least 1.5 months to create now when money is involved like i'm giving you uh, these course for money and i have to give you a premium level of content right i know understand so that is the reason i'm taking so much time and the reason very very simple because i want to give you the best content as possible now third one approx up to uh, upload it now here i am really sorry but i apologize that i don't have the exact upload date as of now but as i already mentioned that it will be around 250 to 300 hours of content i will understand that it will uh, it is going to take a couple of months uh, but i'm not sure but when i'm going to upload this you will not be uh, you'll you'll be surprised that okay that these guys giving this much content in this particular course all right fourth one that uh why i will upload this course at once not in parts now this is also very important because some of you actually told me that okay i can upload 50 hours or 100 hours of content and then i can add content uh after that right uh, month by month the reason is because see i know myself very well if i do that right let's i'll upload a hundred hours of content it's very less possibility that i'm going to upload the next uh parts right because i'm very busy and uh, I have a lot of other things to do so that is the reason I will complete the course full and then I'm going to upload it at once I hope this will clear the doubts so uh, third one so you can see that uh, I've given that what will be the approx course pricing and is this course really value for money now here I want to give you some of the uh, information right which is very very important now you'll see here actually I'm actually giving more than 40 plus topics now if you consider or see if i'm telling any lie here just go to your uh, online courses whatever is available and see for a single course let's say someone is uh, covering react uh, or next or let's say front end cohort or something they are charging more than 6000 rupees you can easily search here or let's say for a single course let's say single reactjs course they are charging 3000 rupees right here you are getting 40 plus topics at once now if i uh, upload this course on udb that means i am uploading 40 different courses means even if i take minimum 500 or 600 rupees so at least 20000 rupees you need to invest i hope you are getting and forget about cohort right cohort they will charge in lakhs that much content you'll be getting so what will be the price range uh, for my side that is i already mentioned that when i'll be launching for that time only i'm going to give this one in less price okay but i can't give uh, this one continuously right so that will be in minimum period of time let's say first 10000 or max first 20000 students i can give the range will be between i'm again i'm not sure sure because i need to create the content and the number of hours that i will be creating based on that i need to uh, finalize the price because there are a lot of charges i need to give when i'll be running a website i hope you are getting right so this price you can uh, consider so when i'll be launching again on the discounted price it will be between 3500 to 4500 now this will be in between in between of this these i'm considering 40 plus topics and 300 hours of content minimum okay so this will be the approx price this can change but this will be not more than 5000 rupees or more than 4500 again this is only on the time of launch very very important okay so now let's uh, i hope that this will give you some idea now we'll start with the first part so in this video i'm going to give you the overview on nest js and a project so that you'll understand that what kind of content this course will have now let's go now see okay now you can understand that every topic that i'm going to cover in this course starting not only on nest js but consider every topic for example react next view node.js express go whatever there will be three level every topic will have three levels beginner intermediate advanced why because there will be beginner students they will be starting from beginner level if you are intermediate and you already know that beginner concepts you start from the intermediate level and then if you already know everything you start direct directly from project 
Now consider NestJS and see how many things we are going to cover and I'm pretty much sure if someone is covering this in a course right they will going to charge only 5000 rupees only for one course only for NestJS course. I hope you are getting right. So here I'm not going to much details it will take some time so I'll just give you some of the overview. So first we'll start with the module and application structure you can see that I've given all the details whatever things we are going to cover like decorator, providers, controllers, feature modules, core modules, dynamic modules, re-exports, global modules and everything. Moving to the next one controllers and routing we are going to cover like all the HTTP methods then we have very very important providers and dependency injection right. So here we are going to cover all these things again I'm not going to explain you are going to get all these details in my website once I'll upload the final, final curriculum then we'll move to pipes, filters, interceptors and guards. Fifth one is also very important configuration and environment. So here we are going to cover uh, how you can manage different environments right uh, schema validation and everything. Then you have data access with type ORM. The reason I mentioned uh, I, I will be covering type ORM because uh, Prisma you already covered in YouTube. So what I mean by that that even if you are not interested buying the course you can also learn from my YouTube channel where you will also get premium level of content for free. So that I already covered Prisma so here I am going to cover type ORM in details. Then I will be moving to authentication definitely it's like basics. So authentication we are going to cover password hashing, uh, refresh tokens, JWT and everything and then uh, for beginner level will end with basic caching and rate limiting okay so this will be the beginner level of uh, content that we are going to cover moving to the intermediate right so here i'm going to go into little in depth so we are going to cover type or in deep dive like some people uh, some students are get confused here that how we are going to create advanced relations index unique constants all these file and media handling so here i actually have decided both i will cover so i'm going to cover both cloudinary and aws s3 all right then we'll move to the i think everyone's favorite topic and that is microservices right so i'm going to cover Revit MQ. this is very popular and mostly used so we are going to start with the microservices transport setup commands events right yeah also i already have some microservices videos on youtube also then we are going to cover some outbox pattern concepts this is mostly will be concepts uh, again most of you actually ask me that whether i'll be covering graphql or not definitely i'm going to cover graphql there is no doubt about it so graphql will be in depth so in nsjs how you're going to cover graphql some performance and caching patterns and then we'll end with starter logging and metrics now remember this login and metrics will come here but these will mostly be covered into in devops section okay so this will be the intermediate concepts moving to the advanced advanced will be mostly practical practical means projects we are going to build that i'm going to discuss now so we'll start with microservices pattern right this will be practical again graphql advanced security uh, hardening then we have some configuration and secrets and you can see that some deployment now again when I'm talking about the deployment part, this will again move into the DevOps section. Now, I I hope that you will get some idea that what kind of content that this course will have. Now, when I'm talking about NestJS, this is again not about NestJS. This is for each and every topic that we are going to cover. Now, also you'll understand that why these course will take time to record. These these things are not easy to record, and I need some time to do this one perfectly so that everyone can understand. Moving to the next one which is everyone's favorite and that is uh, what project that we are going to build and that is first project this is one of the project that is SCART. What is this? So it's complete advanced level of e-commerce application with NestJS and NestJS microservices. Why e-commerce? Because e-commerce is all the very popular. It's actually easy to understand for beginner. Also it's easy to understand for intermediate and advanced level of uh, students. Let's start with the tech stack first. So first uh, tech stack I have decided to this all we are going to cover Next.js will cover React.js definitely TypeScript Tailwind ZCM all are very popular and mostly industry standard Framer Motion we are going to cover animations React Query I am going to cover uh, React Hook Form Zod Form Validation Next INTL this I will be covering 100% so there will be language translation and storybook now remember storybook is a separate section so here mostly i will be covering this one in a separate section so you'll get some idea that how you are going to apply all this and create storybook components next uh, we'll move to backend right so backend this will be nestjs uh, microservices type or and postgres i'm going to cover redis will cover rabbit mq rest for most of the endpoints and there are some parts where we're going to also cover graphql 
swagger now swagger is also you can see i mentioned it's a separate section right so this will be our api documentation sections there we are going to cover swagger next we are going to have the payments and files so here well, i have decided to use pay you uh, if you have some suggestion you can comment it down webhook we are going to cover right a a amazon s3 for file storage images and invoices and uh, other things you can see here moving to the features so features will be there will be storefront users and there will be one single admin the reason i have done this one intentionally because or else this will make the project much more complicated already so let's see what are the things we are going to have so as usual we are going to have the landing page there are some new features i'm going to add for example trending collection personalized rows right frequently bought together you will see all this in amazon flipkart this website global search bar i'm going to cover then we have a category and collection section right then we have the product details page uh, as usual the cart and checkout page right but remember these product details and all the features that we are going to cover this will be premium level of features this you will mostly not see in a youtube video these things you have to consider then admin side we are going to have the admin uh, dashboard category management pricing and promotion and also orders and offers they're also very very interesting we are going to cover a rma approval flow or returns right so we'll be able to implement the returns flow also uh, moving to the next one that is i just covered some of the mini architecture that we will be having definitely a gateway which is nothing but a, your auth or api gateway not auth api gateway we are going to have auth service catalog service or that order service inventory service payment service and notification service now you consider this project as our one of the final projects in this course because you can see this is a huge course this is very very complicated because nextjs itself is very complicated so nextjs microservices will be really complicated so this is all we are going to cover now this is only one part remember this is only one part this is one topic we have so many topics right so this is what i wanted to uh, explain to all of you and this is a new series i started so there will be more videos will be coming more updates on this course that how how much i have actually uh, uh, recorded and when i'm going to upload the course again if you're interested you are welcome to join uh, please join more you will join more i can reduce the price so with this that's all for this particular video i will see you in my next video till then good luck and peace